So today's question is let P of n be the sequence of the points determined as shown in the figure. Now this length is given, AP1 is given as one unit and the length determined by the joining two points that is P of n and P of n plus 1 is given as 2 raised to power n minus 1 given that which point you want to select. Now the angle between a p of n, p of n plus 1 is given as right angle triangle. As you can see every triangle here is a right angle triangle. Now we need to find the value of limit n is tending towards infinity. That means if the sequence keep on increasing till p of n and p of n plus 1, what will happen to this angle? Now we have to start with the two information. The first information which is given is this length a p 1 is given 1 unit and then the length p of n and p of n plus 1 is given as 2 raised to power n minus 1. Now, as the sequence keep on going till p of n plus 1, we'll get a triangle that is triangle a p of n and p of n plus 1. Now, in order to determine the one of the angle of this triangle, we need two things. That is, one side is we have, if we determine one more side, that is, let's say if we determine this side a p of n plus 1, the moment we decide or determine this side, then we'll get the angle. Once we get the angle, then we can apply the limit as n is tending towards infinity because we'll get this value in the terms of n. So let's start with the lengths. So in the first triangle, in triangle a p1 p2, can I write this as a p2 square minus a p1 square? As you can see, if I subtract base from hypotenuse square, I'll get this as p1 p2 square. And that is equal to, I think p1 p2 is given as 1, so 1 square. Similarly, if I write a p3 square minus a p2 square, because AP3 will be the hypotenuse in front of 90 degree. And as you can see, I can write this as P3, P2 square. And this will be equal to 2 square I can write here. Similarly, I can write AP4 square minus AP3 square. And that I can write this as P4 square or P4, P3 square. And that is 2 square whole square. And similarly, if I continue the sequence till AP of n plus 1 square minus a p of n square given that it's a right angle triangle this is valid and i can write this as p of n plus 1 and p of n square that will be equal to 2 raised to power this length is given 2 raised to power n minus 1 and whole square now the moment i add this it will give you a nice telescopic series as you can see that is a plus a p 2 square minus a p 2 square will cancel out similarly plus a p 3 square minus a p 3 square will cancel out Similarly, you will see the alternate cancellation like this. Only two terms are remaining that is a p of n plus 1 square minus a p 1 square and a p 1 square here I can write a p 1 square here and that is given I think that is 1 and send then this will result into I think a gp. So you will get here 1 plus 2 square plus 2 square whole square plus you will get 2 cube whole square and so on till 2 raised to power n minus 1 square. Now I think this whole thing is a GP with the common ratio. As you can see the common ratio is 2 square. Because first term is 1, second term is 2 square, third term is 2 raised to power 4, fourth term is 2 raised to power 6 and the common ratio is 2 square. So let's solve this for a p of n plus 1 because one of the side we are looking for. Once we get this side, I think we'll get, we can get the angle here. So a p of n plus 1 whole square minus 1 will be equal to the sum of this GP. So sum of this GP will be first term is 1 common ratio that is 2 square whole raised to power number of terms minus 1 upon R minus 1. From here we will get A P of n plus 1 square that will be equal to 4 raised to power n minus 1 divided by 3 and plus 1. Now I am going to continue in the next slide. Now if we draw the final triangle, the final triangle which is containing of the vertices A, P of n and P of n plus 1 will look like something like this, where P of n is the vertex which is containing the 90 degree angle. Now we have calculated two sides here, one is given here P of n plus 1, P of n is given 2 raised to power n minus 1 is given here and one more side we have calculated from our side that is A, P of n plus 1 we have calculated from our side because what they are asking is limit n is standing towards infinity, this angle which is joining will get by joining p of n a p of n plus 1, this theta. What happens to this theta if the sequence keep on increasing? What happens to this theta as limit n is standing towards infinity? So we have to find limit n is standing towards infinity, this theta. Now in order to calculate this theta, as I told you, we have calculated two sides. 
So I'm going to use, we have perpendicular and hypotenuse, I'm going to use sine theta here. Now, so before calculating sine theta, first let me write the final expression of AP of n plus 1. That is 4 is to power n, here we'll get, uh, sorry, this is a square here, n plus 2 divided by 3 we'll get here. Now, the value, final value of AP of n plus 1 will be root over, you can say here, 4 is to power n plus 2 divided by 3. This is the final value. Now, using this, we can calculate sine theta. So, sine theta will be equal to, here that is 2 raised to power n minus 1, whole thing divided by root over 4 raised to power n plus 2 divided by 3. Now, as limit n is tending towards infinity, if I calculate this value, then I think we'll get the value of, somehow we'll get the idea of sine theta, from there we'll get the idea of theta. So let me calculate this as limit n is tending towards infinity. So I can write this as 2 raised to power n whole divided by root over 4 raised to power n plus 2 and then root over 3 will come in numerator and then divide by 2. Now here I'm going to divide by limit n is standing towards infinity, I'm going to divide, the, divide by 2 raised to power n. So if I divide by 2 raised to power n denominator, we'll get 1 upon root over. Uh, this 2 raised to power n will go inside as 4 raised to power n. So here we'll get 1 plus 2 upon 4 raised to power n. And whole thing is multiplied by root 3 by 2. Now as len L is tending towards infinity, this will be tending towards 0. So we'll get sine theta here. Let me raise this. So we'll get sine theta as root 3 by 2. Now sine theta is root 3 by 2, then, then the value of theta as n is tending towards infinity will be, I think, pi by 3. Pi by 3 will be our final answer and that will be all.